In today's video, we will explain what is Ethereum 2.0. Ethereum is a remarkable and forward-thinking platform. It was the first ever decentralized global computer network capable of executing smart contracts or code that runs trustlessly on the blockchain. Since its launch in 2015, Ethereum has grown to house the largest ecosystem of decentralized financial applications and other blockchain-related projects. Despite its potential, Ethereum is constrained leaving it far behind the traffic sector and preventing widespread adoption. Ethereum is currently not scalable enough to rival the traditional financial industry. A comprehensive set of network upgrades called Ethereum Upgrades was created to address the current flaws. The Ethereum Foundation now discourages using the term Ethereum 2.0, but the cryptocurrency community still prefers it. Before continuing, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for more latest updates about the world of cryptocurrency. These were initially referred to as Ethereum 2.0. A number of issues with Ethereum 1.0 became apparent in 2017. As a result of a sharp rise in the volume of transactions submitted to the blockchain, only 15 transactions per second are supported by Ethereum. Major trade networks like VSEC can handle up to 24,000 transactions and typically process 2,000 transactions. It's a seller's market because there are more transactions submitted to the network than the miners can handle, forcing users to compete for money to have their transactions added to the blockchain, which raises gas costs during busy times. A straightforward token transfer could cost $20 to $40 in gas. Those who don't pay high fees to ensure their transactions are confirmed quickly and are compelled to wait until network congestion is lower with their transactions pending. At times of high usage, this may take several hours or even days. As a significant proof-of-work network, Ethereum consumes a lot of energy, roughly equal to Finland's annual power consumption in Switzerland's carbon footprint. Despite the fact that Ethereum is a decentralized network, many miners join large pools due to the high cost of mining, which can account for a sizable portion of the world's hash rate. These pools could be shut down or exploited because they are centralized entities jeopardizing network security proof-of-work and proof-of-stake. Ethereum currently employs a proof-of-work consensus algorithm. The next block must be created and added to the blockchain by miners competing against one another. The successful miner is rewarded with new Ethereum and transaction fees. Because mining is a computationally expensive process that involves performing trillions of calculations, it necessitates specialized hardware and a lot of power. Ethereum uses this model because there were no tried-and-true alternatives when it was introduced in 2015. For the previous six years, the WUA-based Bitcoin had shown to be reliable and secure. Proof-of-stake was still in its infancy, so questions about its security persisted the beacon chain. A proof-of-stake blockchain was introduced by the Ethereum Foundation in December 2021. These two networks will soon merge, putting an end to Ethereum's proof-of-work era by only allowing blocks to be created using the proof-of-stake beacon chain. Ethereum's validators will be chosen at random in proportion to the amount of Ethereum they have staked. As opposed to competing for computational resources, this model has a number of significant benefits. For proof-of-stake, specialized mining rigs are not necessary. All you need is a basic hosted server. By doing this Ethereum's power consumption will be reduced by 99.95%. The cost of mining rigs is high. Anyone can use proof of stake to stake their Ethereum and receive payment for assisting in network security. Because there is a lower barrier to entry, more users will participate in stake, strengthening the network. A staker's stake will be slashed or temporarily banned from the network if they attempt to attack the network by confirming a fraudulent transaction. These financial penalties do not apply to proof of work in the same way and will encourage greater integrity and dependability with the switch to proof-of-stake. The beacon chain is now able to coordinate consensus among multiple chains or shards. The next step in Ethereum's development charting will significantly increase the network's capacity. On September, initial phase is anticipated to take place. The predicted date and time will be more precise the closer the merge gets. Thank you for watching the video. If you really enjoyed our video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for more future updates.